Good morning. It's Monday, October 14th, 2024. It's a chilly morning here in Garnerville, Iowa. It's acting like fall. It looks like the weather's going to be cool for the next few days and sadly still very, very dry. Do continue to petition the Lord for timely rains. We need the moisture in the ground. Just a couple of announcements for the day. A reminder of confirmation classes this coming Wednesday night at 7 o'clock at St. Paul's Church. We look forward to teaching the kids and have a good time together. Worship services this coming Sunday, 8.30 at first, 10.30 at St. Paul's. Both services will have Holy Communion and will be live streamed on the parish Facebook page. Those are the announcements I'm going to touch on for today. Today is Thanksgiving Day in Canada. I don't know much about the history of Thanksgiving Day in Canada, but Thanksgiving is something that as Christians we always are doing. We recognize that everything that we have comes as a gift from God. All things are a blessing from Him, and for that we give thanks. In fact, one of the words we use for the Lord's Supper is the Eucharist which is the Greek word for thanksgiving or good praise. And that's something we as Christians want to do. We offer our praise to God in thanksgiving for all that he does. Of course, there are times in which it is very difficult, if not humanly impossible, to want to offer thanks to anyone. I certainly would think the people whose lives have been damaged and destroyed by the hurricanes in the South are having a hard time giving thanks to God. I would imagine people going through personal tragedies find it difficult to give thanks. In fact, I think there are many places in life where, even though we might want to from the depths of our beings offer thanks to God, we find it a difficulty thing to do. Thanksgiving does not simply come in those good places of life. Thanksgiving comes because we recognize that grace and mercy for salvation and eternal life flow from God at all times that God is there for us in the good times and in the bad times. It's like the 23rd Psalm, where we say, Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. We recognize that God goes with us in all the difficult places of life, even as we face death and all the tragedies surrounding it. While we may not be joyful, we may not feel like we are thankful for what has happened to us, We can continue to show thanks to the Father because he is still with us. And though the tragedies have befallen us here, they are outweighed by the grace and the mercy that God gives to us in Jesus Christ and the confidence that one day all things will be made right and all things will be made new. It is not easy to go through a hard time. It is not easy to go through a tragedy like the hurricanes or other personal events that affect us. We don't pretend as Christians that those things are unimportant or aren't real. They are real, they hurt, and we wish that they were otherwise. But we hold on in confidence that in God's grace and mercy, even in the very depths of despair, we are not left alone. And so even there, in that awful place, we can give thanks to God who does not abandon, whose promises are always held sure and are kept. Let us continue to pray for all of those whose lives have been destroyed and disrupted by the hurricanes, as well for all the other natural tragedies that have fought befall the earth. And let us be in prayer for all of those who are sick and afflicted in any way, that they may be strengthened, body, mind, and spirit, and healed according to the Lord's will and purpose. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for the gift of this day, and we pray that in it we might serve you well and be a blessing to our neighbor. We pray for all of those who are giving thanks this day in Canada as a national holiday, but also remind us to give thanks for all things, each and every day. Help us in the midst of times in which we struggle and which our world seems to be crumbling to remember that you are with us and that you have not left us alone. Be with all of those whose lives have been disrupted and destroyed. Be with those who are serving and helping them. And help us as your people to be faithful in all that we say and do, that we bring your mercy and grace to every corner of the world and the good news of the risen Christ. We ask and pray all these things in your name. Amen. Well, I hope you all have a very good rest of the day. I look forward to seeing you all again tomorrow. And until then, goodbye now.